Right, so guys, what is going on? My name is Ben and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be unboxing and setting up probably what's going to be one of the, probably the best budget audio setup that you can get for the money. This video is brought to you in partnership with Thyfine, but all the thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. This one, we've got the Brains, which is the AmpliTank SC1. This is what I should have reviewed last time. However, I got the SC3 and that wasn't designed for my use case. So in the box you get, let's go this way so you can see it. You get your paperwork, you don't really need, unless you're not sharp as tool in the shed of course. And you get the mixer itself and a cable. The thing I like about Fifine products, or the thing I like about some Fifine products is the cable is actually really versatile. So you get a USB-C on one end which goes into the mixer. Then on the other end you think you just get a USB-A but you can actually take it off and it becomes a USB-C. So it's USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to USB-A which is really cool. And then we have the low profile arm in black. Then you get your paperwork. In this box you get your, you get an Allen key to adjust the tension and the ball bracket where you attach your microphone onto. Then you also get your desk clamp, which is actually really well built. I really like that, it feels good. And then you get the arm itself. It feels a little bit shorter than I were expecting, however, I reckon for what I need, it might, it might just work out perfect. And finally, the Fifine AmpliTank Tank 3 microphone. Get your paperwork, information. This is a USB and also an XLR microphone, so you've got that versatility, so you don't actually need the mixer to get started, however, you do get better sound by having it. Well, I don't know necessarily, but you, you would think you'd get better sound through XLR, but you also then lose the headphone feature. You get the microphone itself. That's a really nice build quality. It's got a good bit of heft to it, which is really nice. And then you've got a USB, then you've got a USB-C to USB-A. However, this one isn't one of those cool ones where you can take the top of it off. So. That's a bit of a shame, especially for the £100 that you're paying for it. However, if you get in the mixer, you don't need to use it. If you get the mixer and use an XLR cable, you don't need to use that, so yeah. Right, let's set this up as if I was setting it up. So, first thing, let's put the, I'm gonna move that out of the way, nice and tight. That's solid on there. Then you get this piece, you get the, just the pole bit that goes into the bottom, like that. Move that iron key in there. This thing, loosen it up and spread it around that little pole. You always gotta stretch the hole to make it fit around another. Okay, I didn't like the fact that that did that, but, and stick the big ball back into the small hole. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. So then we can mount the microphone to the front of this. It's got the adapter in at the bottom of it as well, which is always nice. Somebody's at the door. Screw that on. That is your pretty straightforward mic setup. Obviously you'd adjust your ball joints and so on and so forth and your actual positioning of it in due course. But let's just pretend that that's in there. I need to, okay, so pretty straightforward. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use the one that come with the microphone just because I don't see why it would actually matter. But I know that I'll be using a a port on the monitor on the in the mic hub. So it's so nothing 
when your mum and dad left us to the sick of the... It's got a Kensington lock. I'm sorry, nobody is going to be nicking. What the hell are you wet? So I'm going to put this into the Corsair dock into one of the USB-A ports. Is that the USB-A port? I don't know, I can't feel. Well, for somebody who doesn't really use XLR cables anymore, I have a lot of XLR cables. Anyone need some XLR cables? Let me know and I'll uh, do a giveaway because I can't be asked trying to list them on eBay and get pennies for them. So then once that's oh well I do need that to be off so let's try and get your get the female end stick that up its bum Daddy. like that and the cool thing about this particular arm is on the bottom of it is actually a cable raceway which is why this thing come off Look at that. clean minimal setup and plug the other end of the XLR cable into this now, does this microphone need phantom power? I am going to guess yes, but could be mistaken. And then what I'm going to do is just because I want to test it, is I'm going to grab my whatever they're called things. And I'm also going to plug them directly into the headphone port on this. I'm going to click a button, no I'm not, I'm going to click another button, no I'm not. I should, I should definitely be able to hear it. Hello, hello. Yeah, that is that. So then all you need to do now in macOS is just go into... All you need to do is go into system settings, sound, Import, select Fifine SC1 and output also Fifine SC1. So then that way, if you were to start playing something on Spotify, it comes out through your headphones. Don't ask me why I'm listening to uh, Scout for Girls, but I am. So shut up. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on it. Thanks again to Fifine for supplying us with this gear. If you want to see the full review, that'll be out on my main channel soon enough. So yeah, I'll be Ben, and I'll see you in the next video.